raised in, in Stockton, California. At that time, uh, Stockton was the biggest Filipino population in the United States. I'm what they call bridge generation, descendants of the uh, original people that came from the Philippines. I am now 74 years old. I've been in training in the martial arts uh, since age five. I uh, definitely didn't want to get beat up. <laughs> and that's why I took it. Then later on, I, I could see the value of the martial art. It helps you really definitely grow emotionally, definitely physically, socially, definitely even spiritually. Since then, I, I went in to study different martial arts, Okinawan of origin, Japanese, Chinese martial arts, Indonesian, Thai, and I owe a lot to everybody who's taught me. In the Filipino martial arts, I had the privilege to learn under 34 different people. I'm ranked in about 18 systems. Then I also hold rank under, under Bruce Lee, obviously. I met Bruce Lee in, uh, in 1964 at the International Karate Championships. We sort of like escorted him around the, uh, the Long Beach area in the Los Angeles series. We got to be very, very close friends. I, I said I would like to study under him. Our relationship was both a teacher to student, and he was also my closest friend at that time period. I'm known as uh, being one of the three people that uh, Bruce Lee certified for uh, in his part of uh, Jeet Kune Do and Chun Fung Kung Fu. But other people are more known in the Filipino martial arts. I still train. I train in as many arts as possible. The Filipino martial arts, you know, what I've seen, uh, you can train way past uh, your prime. It's really a lifestyle, just like there's a surfing lifestyle. It's sort of a crowd unto its own. You ask any skateboarder, that's, that's his world. You ask any surfer, that's his world. If my health goes bad, obviously I would have stopped, but uh, right now I'm very fortunate that my health is still good, so I'm gonna teach until that changes. Through the thing you love is where you grow. That's where you find yourself. I'm constantly learning all the time. I don't think you ever stop learning. Once you stop being a student, you stop growing. For me, uh, watching the, the people that I taught uh, take, take the art to a higher level, that's kind of a turning point for me, because I think art should be improved. I have no doubt that the students I've trained in 10 years, they will better the system than I, than I handed down.